Uh, yeah, well, the House is moving towards hearings on Afghanistan now. So we're going to review it with two members of Congress, Congress Gary Palmer from Alabama and Pat Fallon from Texas. Welcome both to the show. Uh, Pat Fallon, I want to go to you first on this. What's the latest you're hearing on these, uh, on, on the, the hearings, what went wrong in Afghanistan, and why has it been so hard for you to get information? Well, Carl, thank you so much for having us on. Uh, you know, the thing is, this administration has been so non-responsive to members of Congress and we're co-equal branches of government, right. not only for Republican members, but Democratic members. And we should have immediate hearings. Now, you have to also remember you have Democratic uh, committee chairs here, but we should have uh, committees of jurisdiction like oversight and armed services, of which I'm a member, and also foreign affairs and veterans affairs and homeland security should have meetings forthwith. Yeah. And uh, Chair Chairman Gary Palmer's with us, and he's a great American, and I'd love to hear what he has to say, too. Yeah, Congressman Palmer, what do you think about this? Well, before we start having hearings, I think uh, we need to come together as a Congress to do all that we can to get American citizens and our allies out of Afghanistan. It's something that uh, we've been focused on for the last um, couple of weeks, trying to get people out, mm -hmm. and uh, they're... Uh, there's no telling how many people there. We need an accurate count from the Biden administration, and we're not getting that, Carl. And uh, I know Pat and his office is working on this. This is a bipartisan effort to try to get people out. I think there'll be time for hearings uh, a little bit later, but right now there are people getting killed. They're being hunted down and killed in Afghanistan, and we need to get these people out. Yeah, you know, Congressman Fallon, I actually wanted to play on this network some of the videos of the, the atrocities that are happening in the streets to, in Afghanistan to the people that we left there, people like the interpreter that rescued Joe Biden in 2008, that Biden was like, nah, and just left the guy there. That's what kind of guy Joe Biden is. That might be why you're not getting the answers, no? Well, yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things we wanted to also pass or get, get considered, quite frankly, 40 veterans from the GOP caucus went back to Washington, D.C. with Leader McCarthy to demand action. And our good friend Mike Gallagher from Wisconsin uh, had a bill, H.R. 5127, if I'm not mistaken, and would do four simple things, mm -hmm. just like uh, Chairman Palmer said. We need to get uh, we need to have a plan from the Biden administration uh, on how to get Americans out. We don't want any money to go to the Taliban. We don't want them to be recognized. And also, we want an accounting, a detailed accounting, of the $85 billion worth of equipment that was left there that the American people have paid for that now might be used, not certainly used to harm the innocent and maybe even Americans. Well, yeah, and... <laughs> I, I, I just I'm, I'm just so beside myself on this one because uh, pa Congressman Fallon did call for that um, that bill. You said on the floor it was uh, accounting for that. You wanted to know how many Americans were left. You wanted some accountability on what the procedures were that went in there. And Nancy Pelosi didn't even let go, let it go to a vote, right? No, it got gaveled yeah. down. Yeah. That's disgusting. And we didn't even uh, we weren't even able to read the names of the 13 fallen. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, Congressman. The, go go to you too, sir. Yeah, uh, we're we're filing a discharge petition, which uh, when we return on September 21st, you will see a line of Republicans out the door, off the floor, lining up to sign that. We need six Democrats to sign with us in order to bring that bill to the floor. So it's going to be interesting to see how many Democrats are going to put the lives of American citizens and our allies uh, behind their politics. Yeah, Congress that, that's going to be interesting. And I want to make one other point. It is so disturbing to me that, that the Biden administration, the president himself, has called this effort an extraordinary success. And he did it at a time when American flags all over the country are flying at half staff. Mm -hmm. I just want to remind people that we don't fly our flag at half staff to celebrate an extraordinary accomplishment. Mm -hmm. We fly it at half staff to mourn an extraordinary tragedy. And this guy is so out of touch, he doesn't realize that. And that may be the clearest distinction I've heard on TV expressed in the last two weeks. Congressman uh, Gary Palmer and Pat Fallon, thank you very much. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks, thank Carl. You. God bless. All right.